Who's the beast of Revelation? Let me give you some clues that might help you and me understand who the beast was to the original recipients of the book of Revelation. If you notice in Revelation 13, it says that we need to count the number. That's important because in the first century and before that, there was a thing called gematria. And gematria was where they would take the letters of the alphabet and they would add them up to get sort of like this code language of being able to spell something out. So like A would be one, B would be two, C would be three, and you could add that up and get a name. So we're told specifically in Revelation 13 to count the number here, to make sure that we focus in, because it is a number of a man. It is a man that we're talking about. Well, the number that's given is 666, unless you're a scholar and you understand the manuscript evidence. The manuscript evidence, there's actually a variant that, that is well attested, that is actually 616. Why is that important that there's two variants in Revelation 13? Why is that important? Because 666 and 616, both through gematria, whether you're using Hebrew or you're using Latin, spell out the name Nero Caesar. That might be a huge clue as to who the original recipients saw the beast is actually being.